I wanted to say happy lock appreciation day. I'm going to do the what I love about the lock family tag. I will also show you new DIY lock accessories, do a length check, and show you some of my favorite hairstyles after three years of growth. Hey lock family, it's been a while since I've actually done a lock update. I am back. I've been making art videos, which is what this channel is going to be primarily. Uh, it's about three years and three months, I believe, since I've started my locks. And I started them really long, like, then they shrunk and they've grown since. So if you go back to my old videos, you can see uh, the process that I use. It's a little bit different than what most people do. So go back and check those out. I wanted to say happy lock appreciation day and do and share my updates. It has been so long and I feel like they haven't changed a lot. Like there's not, it used to be like if I did a monthly video, you could tell. And now that like, you can't tell month to month, you can tell like over time. So it's time. I need to do one for you guys. Um, so I grew up in South Dakota and went to college in Wyoming where there's not a lot of people of color or like no black hair salons. I went to the salon and they like parted it to get them started because I didn't like I don't know how to part my hair well and like even with twists and stuff just like a loose natural. I didn't it was rough. Yeah so like, I grew up like not knowing what to do with my hair and then when YouTube came around like as they're like oh this whole natural thing like this is cool so I went natural like as soon as I got married like for my wedding was the last time I relaxed my hair. And that was kind of like for my mom. And like she loved it. And like that's that. But my husband was like, yeah, like you should do the natural thing. Like he totally supported it. And then after that I did locks and he loves them as well. Like there was a while where like there's times where like they itch his face and he doesn't like that. But um, he loves them. He like he wants me to like grow them forever. And I'm just like, Jim, I might have to stop at some point. But yeah, so he's really supportive, which has been awesome. But you guys, like you guys are the ones that taught me how to do this. Like I, people ask me all the time, like how do I start locks? And I'm like, YouTube like YouTube is all the information I have and I think there is a loctician we just moved recently you can see our new house video oh yeah like so where we live now I guess there is a loctician I haven't tracked her down like she's messaged me because like 10 people have messaged me like oh where can I get my locks done and I'm like ah YouTube because I haven't done like professional anything since the first like the first lock video I did you can see that and like she told me the wrong stuff she didn't know what she was doing but she got like okay parts um, if I were to restart my locks, I would do different parts, but I'm not going to restart them because the parts are not that big of a deal. So you can see, like, I don't really do a whole lot of maintenance. I just washed them. I washed them. I did a, I used Dr. Bronner's. I just started doing baking soda and then like apple cider vinegar with essential oils. And every time I go somewhere, like for a few days, people are like, oh my gosh, what's that smell? And I'm like, this is awkward because I think it's my hair, but I didn't know that the first few times. So anyways, uh, they smell really good. It's like a rosemary. Sometimes I do lavender essential oils. I need to go, I need to get more jasmine because that's my favorite smell ever. But yeah, so the biggest thing I love is like you guys taught me so much. Like I would not be here without you and that's so rad. And I think too like the people that I started with are still making videos. I I kind of fell out of the loop and like some of them aren't and like we're not as close as we used to be but like it's still cool to be like oh yeah like we started together. Or uh, like people that are new, it's kind of it's cool to be like, yeah, like you, your locks are great. Like I'm so stoked to see how they go. And it's neat too, like being able to look back at other people's videos as well as mine to see like what the process is because it's been a while, it's been a long time, and I don't plan to go back to that process. But it's still cool to check it out, you know. So, so I made this guy. It's like a spiral lock, and I made it for like five bucks. So if you guys are interested in it, seriously, like super easy. I just made it up though and then like I did trial and error and I'm working on a second one. So this one's almost done. It's about twice as long as the one I have in and it's the ends aren't sewn together yet. But I just did wire and then wrapped it in pipe cleaner and then wrapped that in t-shirt fabric that I'd used to make like old t-shirt scarves that when that was like a fad thing. And then I sewed fabric to the outside and I just hand sewed it like it's not anything fancy. It's just a uh, the wire inside of everything. They're not little clips, little loops, so that I can hook things to it later. So if I decide to make, like, something coming out from it, like, hippie flowy-ish. Yeah, so that's that. And then I'm going to make these. Like, these are actually... So when you buy a new house, you have to do lots of curtain shopping, which is tons of fun. One of the pairs of curtains I got came with these little, like, things to hold it back, but the house already had them built in. So I'm going to use this to make... I'm going to take the ends and sew them together and then make a headband out of it. And then I have a bunch of fabric, so I'm going to try to match it to the, like... Put this fabric on it and then also like uh, do some paintings to match it as well so I have like paintings that match my headbands and it should be super cute and also there's a couple other lock like accessories that I want to make so if you guys want to see those let me know I probably won't do a ton of lock videos still just because I do want to keep this channel about art but like since it's creative 
crafty lock thing. I think it should be okay. So let me know if you want to see those and I will. Lock family. Why I love you guys. What else? I think that I can share like nerdy stuff like this and you guys care. That's fun. Yeah, I just washed it so my like my parts are like this one's right in the middle even though it shouldn't be. Those both usually go to that side. Ah, fine. I give up. And I will share some photos of my locks and such things, and I hope you enjoy. If you're new to the lock family or if we haven't been lock buddies, let me know below, say hello, and I'll come check out your videos and we can be friends. I don't do the whole sub for sub thing, but if you like my videos, sub, and if you think you'll watch the art, sub, um, and I'll see you around, and also, like, tell me you have your videos, and I'll check them out, and I'll, like, I'll be sure to watch them and, like, all that, but just don't comment, like, sub for sub, da, da, like, don't. That drives me nuts. I love you guys. But make great videos. And if you're making great videos with interesting stuff on them, I will sub. If you like mine, if you think I'm interesting, sub. If you don't, that's okay. Like, no pressure. Like, I don't want to sub for sub. That's one thing I don't like about communities on YouTube is there's, like, the sub for sub expectation. So, anyways, I love you guys. If you're not making videos, you should start. It's, it's really, really fun. It's kind of an addiction, I think. So, go ahead and start making videos. Keep doing it. I love you guys. And... Thanks for checking out. I have like all sorts of pictures in there. You can see them. Yay. Oh, I also have a tattoo video coming. I promised tons of people that I would do it, so I will. So these styles are just things that I do with my hair on a day-to-day -day basis. I have a couple updos at the end that are a little bit fancier. A lot of experimenting in this video. I don't always wear these ones out. I'm still learning how to do them. This is just me dancing around in my studio because it was really hot and I just got my hair up off my neck and I was packing and bored and having fun. So that's what this is. I was actually dancing to a, a song that's fun, Jamie Grace. And I love this updo. I don't do it very often because like my car is too, the roof of my car is too low. So I have a hard time wearing it up. But I do put it up for my physical therapy. Um, this one I'm playing around with. It's the first time I've ever done it. And I will maybe talk about it in a second, I think in the actual video. So I'm gonna stop with the recording. I don't know if you had to see that or not, but it's just not. I'm gonna try to show you in a mirror in a little, in a second. Actually, hold on. All right, so I'm still learning how to actually show you guys hairstyles, but if you like them, uh, do comment below, because I've done it in the past in like a vlog video where I just put a hairstyle in there. So if you like them, let me know, and I will keep experimenting. Well, I'll keep experimenting anyways, but I'll record it when I do it for my next vlog update. I also do some like scarves and bandanas and stuff, and I've been doing more of that. I don't think I have any in this video, though. So I'll probably post this before I get to doing more styles, but I'll keep track of them. This is still the same knot thing. There's pieces sticking up that I would really fix if I was actually wearing it, but this is just for fun. I do this a lot where I tie knots and do kind of like a waterfall type braid down the back. I actually love it. You can see I have lots of fuzzies in my hair. I don't, I'm not too great about using dark towels, and I also wear lots of sweatshirts. Well, I guess I don't wear sweatshirts in the winter, or in the summer. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like and sub so I know that you want more lock content.